My wife found my diary from 10 years ago where I confessed I would move heaven and earth for a chance to be with my ex again. Am I the asshole? My wife, 30 female and I, 30 male, have been married for four years and together for nine. We also have two children. However, we've run into a major hurdle now and my wife seems extremely sad. My wife and I visited my parents' house in the last month. It is a pretty big attic which also has a closet. I have a lot of fond childhood memories of the attic. That's where I spent a lot of my time with my ex too. My wife found a diary inside the closet of the attic. It was my personal diary from many years ago. My wife was very excited to read the diary and I had nothing to hide so I told her to go ahead. However, I had completely forgotten what I had written in my diary. For some background, I was deeply in love with my ex. We were in a relationship for almost seven years before she had to move back to her home country of Serbia. When we did break up, we decided not to reach out to each other ever again because my ex wasn't sure she'd ever come back to the US and we both had a lot of strong feelings for each other. The breakup really hurt and I wrote a lot of my thoughts in my diary. It had all sorts of love letters, my deep feelings for my ex, how I would do anything to be with her again. A couple of months after I broke up with my ex, I met my wife. She wasn't a rebound but she also wasn't someone I was super serious about because I still wasn't over my ex. However, after dating my wife for a year, I completely fell in love with her and had all but forgotten about my ex. The issue is that my wife read all those thoughts on my diary, including the timeline as every entry had a date on top of it. My wife seems very sad now. She thinks she was a rebound for my ex, which I completely disagree with. I have reassured my wife I love her and that what we did when we were in college shouldn't be taken seriously. I am very worried now because we have a stable life. I love my wife and our children, but my wife just seems to be a complete shell of herself since reading the diary entries. I have reassured her many times. I've taken her out to eat in fancy places. I've written her love letters, but she still doesn't seem over it. I am worried this minor thing can end our marriage. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for being upset that my husband is sharing a hotel room with another woman? My husband is currently in Las Vegas for a national bowling tournament and he's there with his mom and some family and friends and also other people from the bowling and also other people from his bowling league. He is an avid bowler. He bowls in the Tuesday league and he bowls in state tournaments and sometimes in national tournaments. Typically I go with and I bowl myself usually, but this year we decided that I would stay home with our three boys due to some heat and smoke that is in Las Vegas this year. My husband and I have been married for 11 years and this is his second marriage. His first marriage failed because he walked in on his wife cheating with another man and I have never not once ever thought that my husband would be intimate with another woman other than me. He is just not that type. On to this trip. Typically, he will go with his mom and he'll stay with his mom and our three boys. And usually it's like once a year that I don't go with because of my job. Three nights ago, I was on FaceTime with him while he was in his hotel room. It was really nice and he was talking about possibly taking a nap because of lack of sleep. I asked him if he had the room to himself because that would have been awesome and I would have been happy for him. And he said, oh no, Jackie is sharing with me. I asked him who that was and I don't really remember what he said aside from the fact that he said she and I was like wait what and he went on to explain how he was supposed to be sharing a room with his mom's boyfriend but then plans changed so now he's sharing a room with another woman and then he told me that I played cornhole with her at an event last month I guess so I reminded him who I played cornhole with it was him and another woman and I told him that I had no idea who the this person was I've never heard of her and at this point he was extremely confused and he didn't understand why I was upset or frustrated that is crazy I just dropped it at that point because I didn't want to deter from his time bowling and I know that I should have asked how he would have felt if roles were reversed but I didn't Partly because I didn't want to fight while the kids were up. We honestly never really fight. And also partly because I didn't want him to just chalk it up to my imagination. I have hardly slept since that night and my dreams have just been full of worst case scenario situations. I still have not brought it up to him again at all. 
There have been a few occasions where he talks about how lame he is in Vegas and I have mentioned a few times sort of like sarcastically that he would be having more fun if he were sharing a room with me or if I were there instead of his present company but he's basically brushed that all aside. So here we are. He has spent the last three nights in a hotel with another woman that is not me or his mother. I just want to know, am I the asshole for being upset here? My sister-in-law thinks that I'm going to give her my baby. I gave birth to my baby boy last month and I wanted to wait a little while for people to come and see him. But recently I invited my family and my husband's family over to see him and my sister-in-law was absolutely fawning over my son. When I wanted to feed him, she almost didn't let me have him. And then she was starting to give me pointers about how to take care of him. I obviously didn't want to be rude, so I thanked her, but I told her I got it. After I told her, like, I got it, I'm good, you know, like, I don't need your advice, which I said in the most polite way possible. She got so offended and pissy, and she was like, oh, so the person who didn't even want kids in the first place has it under control. So passive aggressively yeah that's true me and my husband did talk about waiting a couple years to have kids because we weren't sure if we were ready yet then we got pregnant and we decided to be parents simple as that after she said that i was just like pretty shocked so i said excuse me and this is when the absolute craziest thing comes out of her mouth she said, well, since I have been trying a lot longer than you and you weren't even sure if you wanted one, I thought that maybe I could take them off your hands. Take them off your hands while talking about a child is a crazy statement. I obviously, as anyone would, called her crazy and told her to get the F out. I was genuinely so shocked and disgusted and my husband asked her a little bit later like why she would ever say that kind of thing or why she even thought that in the first place. And she said that it was super unfair that she has been trying for three years to have a baby and we didn't even know if we wanted one and we got pregnant before her. He told her to absolutely never say that again and definitely never say that around our son. His mom said that she was just joking, but I mean like who jokes about something like that? 